Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 8 of our All the Mods Gravitas playthrough. Hope you've all had a lovely day so far. Me? Well, it's actually well into the night time here, but that's okay. I'm having a good one, or had a good one, I guess. It's most of the way over. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's dive into another episode. Now, we are currently out, we were just gathering some uh, some wheat over on the stream because we need to return home and feed our new found animals. Our new friendly animals, I guess I should say. Um, that being said, I really don't want to eat my wheat on the way home. I'd rather give all this to the cows and then, you know, we'll just figure something else out for my own diet here. But we are moving extremely slowly. Because of course we are starving. We're a couple of starving Marvins, as it were. Oh, here we are. I guess we don't really need our clay bridge anymore since the water froze over. Right, so let's find something to eat. Garlic. Garlic should be good. We also can't plant the wheat because we've realized as of last episode that it's too cold. There we go. I wonder if it's still cool. Like, if I break this and I place that down, does this raise the temperature? Because that's minus 6, 7. Minus 6, 7. Minus 6, 7. So, no, a torch doesn't actually. How is this ice forming right beside our, my torches? Interesting. Okay. All oh, that's good to go. Um, but yeah, we need to go feed our, our cows over here. How long does this stuff stay good for? For a month? Break it down. And... Now, I believe at 30, which should happen tomorrow on the days, they're able to be bred together. That's good. Now, if you missed last episode, we made a lot of progress. We got our windmill bearing from Create. Now we're just waiting on the oxes to produce enough um, string for some wool, essentially. And then we'll be able to get into some Create power. Uh, we also need to get into some iron, which iron is going to be its whole own process, basically, that we're going to have to do. And not only that, but we also need to find iron. So it's uh, it, it's going to be a thing, you know? gonna be a thing but until that thing becomes a thing let's let's just continue rocking and rolling i'm gonna put the straw away and the wheat seats okay so i think we're all good to go now inventory has been sorted my main goal for this episode here today is probably just gonna go and uh, mine some more copper slash zinc because I do think that we're running a little low on it. Um, this is all that copper that we have left in here, which is not all too much. I do have two copper ingots, which I guess we could do something with. But then as far as zinc goes, we're actually sitting better with zinc, I think, where we were. We have three zinc ingots, so we, we don't really need any more for the time being. Plenty of shafts to work with. So yeah, we should be fine and dandy on that regard. But I think we'll worry about y'all. Is the sun going up or down? I can't tell. Looks like it's coming down. Okay. Then let's find my copper deposits it's over here. Yeah. Okay, and then I think we're going to do kind of the same situation as what we've done with zinc, which is a, a really good mining method. And let's get some supports and some ladders. And then the wooden bucket can come back over here. 
I want some food on me that's not what I'm going to be feeding to my ox. So let's take some garlic. Get rid of all this wood that I have on me. Come on, there's got to be... There we go. Okay, looking much, much better. And that sun is going down. Maybe we wait until the next day so we can breed up our uh, our oxes before we go because I think it's going to take them quite some time. You definitely want them, you know, rocking and rolling. Oh, icicles. What do we get if I break this? Disappointment. <laughs> A little bit of disappointment. All right. Light these torches up around the home because our home has gotten dark. Never want that to happen. Oh, and our leather, right. So our leather is good to go. This actually wasn't working because of the log type, I think. I think. I'm pretty sure spruce wart. Let's see, oak, sequoia, birch. If not, birch will for sure. Chestnut. Douglas, Hickory, Hickory Dock, the mouse ran at the clock, and we're back to oak. So no, spruce won't work either. What is this? You can only use a certain type of wood? That's fine. You know what? I got birch. Yes, I do. I have birch. How about you? Toss that in and seal it. Now it says tannin. Oh, goodness. At least now I'll also know that it'll say it when it shows it if that makes any sense uh okay so it is getting nighttime here we should be able to go ahead and snooze right no not quite not quite night enough there we go honestly when i see the sun setting i'm like yeah okay i'm good <laughs> was it three o'clock sun setting yeah i'm good time to go to bed all right so new day boom as you are both there, can I can I make you do the hanky panky? Yeah, yeah, get it. Taking charge. It said thirty percent, thirty familiarity, didn't it? But I'm not seeing any love hearts. Here's some panting, but uh, maybe I should check my book again. Adult mammals that are above 30. You know what? You know what? That was almost the last of my wheat there. And I just had to go out and find this stuff. You you guys, you guys take a lot. You're you're high maintenance. Okay. But I think I know what I'm about to do today, and that is go find myself some more wheat. Or maybe we go mine some copper and hopefully we'll find some wheat along the way. That sounds like a better plan. So, let's go... Where's our copper? Oh, it's like this way. There's chromium up there. So this is copper over here. Alright. And is this the copper that I was mining previously? I sure hope so. Y'all holler and shout. Scream it out if you see any wheat. I would be pleased. Or raw or any anything of the sort. Okay. Okay, here we are. Back down in our hole. Let 
Now, um... There we go. That should provide some support around here, so now we should be good to, like, mine this. Yeah, and this. Cool. Uh, uh. All right, and then it goes out. I think it's four blocks on each side. All right, so that's one, two. Maybe we build some more here. This should be a decent amount of copper that we're getting here, right? Four, nine. That says one, two, that's three. I'm going to need some more support down here. Also, it looks like this caved in, but it shouldn't have. Good stuff though here, good stuff. Okay. I do need a way to get back out of here. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Cool. So let's go make some more support beams. I didn't realize we were gonna get through that stuff that quickly there. Honestly, that's another 300 there, 275, 45. So that's, that's quite a few more ingots there, quite a few more tools. Now we're back to looking for wheat. Might as well on the way home, right? Wild tomato. I am a fan of tomatoes in real life. Not actual just tomatoes, though. I like them whenever they're made into a sauce, right? Pizza sauce, that kind of stuff. Any wheat to be had, I'll be happy. And not mad. No, no wheat. Any grain, really. It doesn't have to be wheat. I say wheat, but you know, raw, you can pop up. Barley? I wouldn't say no. Pumpkins? Pumpkins I will say no to. Water? Um, yeah, I need some water. Run over here. Eat one of these tomatoes. Alright. Um. Well, that's just dangerous. <laughs> that's just a little bit dangerous. All right, let's head on home. We're coming from like a completely different angle now, so maybe we can find some, you know, some goodies. 
See some more pumpkins up here, or maybe it's the same pumpkins? Garlic. Beets. Beets. Neither of which are what I want to eat. Lots of garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. That's fine, though. I mean, garlic's a really good, really, really good plant. Aha! On God. <laughs> Happy to have found the barley. Happy, happy, happy. Did I pick it up? Barley, and did I pick up the barley seeds? I did, okay. We gotta get back. Our inventory's like full as, uh... Full as can be. Um, was that all the barley, though? We just kind of ran off and, like, didn't even check to make sure we'd gotten everything. No, it wasn't. Oh, chance, chance, chance. What are we gonna do with you, buddy? I think that's it. I think that's all the barley to be had. All the barley to be beat. This day is ending, so we gotta get back home quick so we can feed the cows this, this food. I'm sorry, technically only one of them is a cow, the other one is an ox, or a moose, or a bull. It's a bull, it's not a moose. <laughs> it's a moose, same thing, same difference. You never looked at a cow and been like, man, look at that moose. <laughs> oh, goodness. And this is why I do my recordings in the morning. Let's just store what we know we don't currently need on us in there. Wheat. Let's go ahead and break it down. Break it down, break it down. Oh, wait, did we already feed y'all today? Yeah, we did. Okay. All that rushing to get back here before the day ends, I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to. Yeah, as far as mining goes, basically you just want to make sure you have your supports down, which we're probably going to go back and do some more mining. I just wanted to feed the ox. Maybe empty the inventory a little bit here. There we go. Cool, cool beans. Now that that's done, let's go and try to get these guys and girls a little more familiar. Perfect. You're in red. Oh, you're purring. You're purring. Do I have to feed y'all this to get you to want to do the, the hanky panky? Fertilized. Hello. This ox, this musk ox cow is pregnant. Gestation time left. Eight months. By the time you pop this baby out, it's going to be freaking summertime. Oh, boy. Wear and tear, 4%. <laughs> I like how the wear and tear went up on the man, but not on the woman. After pregnancy, is the wear and tear going to catch back up? Or, like, what's, what's up with that? <laughs> Too personal? Maybe I shouldn't be asking that. I can't shear you. You still haven't regrown your your uh, fur, I guess. I like how the majority of what I'm carrying is actually tools. Because you can't put tools in chests. Probably just make another tool rack, actually. How do we, how do we make these, these uh, tool racks? Oh, just lumber. Oh, wow.
All right, very nice. I just really condense this stuff down. I guess we don't need the shears either, right? Yeah, very nice. So much more inventory space. Now we do need some more... What's it called? More support beams. The only way that I know how to do that is with the saw. Like that. It's 24. Should be good for a little bit there. We'll keep the saw with us. The lumber can go back. And the, uh, the barley needs to stay good for as long as possible. I'm going to take all the rest of this garlic with me to eat. We have water. Check on the crops. Make sure that the torches are still doing their job. They are indeed cool. All right. And then I think we are good to go. Let's head back to the copper. The copper pits and mine to our hearts. The delight to our to the end of the rainbow. I don't know. We're gonna get a little bit more copper here just so that way we're in the free and clear for tools and using it in the future, at least for hopefully the foreseeable future here. And then we're gonna start um Perhaps working on trying to find some iron. I haven't even, I haven't even stuck my toe in that um, that monster of a goose hunt. Where is my? There we are. Okay. This is not the most of organized. Uh, Setups here, but it's okay. All right, let's break through there. Break through here. And we'll put some more supports there, there, and across. Cool. Cool. So I should be able to break this, that, and we'll put a torch. I don't want to break through to where these spotters are, especially since it seems like there's a lot of them. That being said, I do want to get my stuff here, though, so. They are really close, ain't they? Really close. <laughs> well, I'm just going to avoid you for now, if at all possible. That shouldn't be... That shouldn't be uh, making the sounds like it's going to fall. I'm gonna have to quiet quiet down these spiders. I can't I can't yell over them. I'm just not gonna. Just not gonna do it. All right, and there keeps being this weird graphical bug. Yeah, where we keep seeing something on fire down there. But we're getting a whole lot of copper out of this, so that's good. And we could even use our prospector's pig to maybe... Very large sample, so still some more of this stuff. And if I come over here... Very large sample. Okay, let's finish this out. We were, tip we were uh, previously expanding this way. That across. Can we put torches on? No? I'll see if we can put it on the support beams. It does not look like that's the case. We're certainly right within a, a cave here. We have zombies, we have spiders, creepers. They're all gunning for me. Should 
Should be fine though. I don't imagine we'll accidentally break into something and be like, oh no, I didn't see that coming. I want to do some support beams here. Go there. Here. That. That cool. Okay, so our mining hole is starting to look, you know, interesting, that's for sure. I wonder how much we're gonna walk away with this. I'm honestly just trying to break my pickaxe before we leave. But we're getting kind of close to the the mobs here, and that's not what I'm trying to do quite the opposite. I'm trying to avoid the mobs. everything's still supported one of these days i'm probably going to knock out the wrong leg of this base and it's all going to come tumbling down as long as that day is not today and i don't have to deal with these spiders or zombies currently i'll be pretty happy how much durability do we have left in this thing doesn't tell me I'm sure i could use tool tips or something like that to find it but it, it's fine Okay, can I mine this? Yeah. This thing's got to be very close to breaking, right? Let's see, can I do F3 and H? Will that show me? Your ability 8. Okay. Alright, well we can do it. Whoa. What? What? Oh, it swapped me to creative. <laughs> I was like, why am I instant mining these blocks here? Okay, so are we back in back in normal? Alright. Uh, I mean, we lost some copper from that. It, it's fine. Honestly, that, that's all fine. <laughs> Don't know how supported that area is over there, because we're starting to get into diagonals. Oh, there it goes, never mind. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. This was a good, um, good amount mined. Good, good stuff, Chance. Good stuff. Alright, now I'm gonna get out of here and get on back home. Home is this way. torches that so yeah um a whole lot of copper we're gonna wait until we do get back home to actually count it up just because i don't want to be out here in the middle of the wilderness you never know when a pack of wolves could come up and get you um that and I'd, I'd rather just sleep through the night if at all possible if at all possible the more nights we sleep through, the quicker that our ox has a baby, the quicker that our ox has a baby, the quicker that I can get it to have another baby, the quicker that it has another baby. Well, you know, you know. Wash, rinse, repeat. Alright, and then don't we have a do?
So can I keep raising your familiarity with me? Oh shucks, we're going slow. We need the garlic. <laughs> it's a weird interaction. Oh, you're ready to shear again. Your familiarity doesn't go above 35. Okay. Alright. Well, let me go grab my handy dandy shears. They are right here. We'll strip you down. Now, how many pieces did I need in order to make uh, wool? Or, yeah, like an actual piece of wool? Four. Okay, so that gives us two there. So we are... We're halfway. We are halfway to be able to make ourselves some actual wool. From the actual wool, we'll be able to... Uh, Get our create machine going, which I'm hoping there's some things we can actually automate. I haven't really looked into it, but I'm kind of hoping that there is. <laughs> okay. That makes two wool cloth that we have now. Oh, our leather. Is our leather finally... Let's go open that up, open this up, and then we can toss this into there and close it, and we're finally making leather. <sighs> All right, so apparently the wood that you put in there does matter. What month are we in? Still in autumn. Okay. We're in November now. Apparently snowberries just don't grow in the, in the autumn time. That's fine. Oh, you don't get your torches back if... Interesting. Interesting. Alright, and I already sheared you, right? Right? Here, 4% wear and tear. Your wear and tear is still 1%, so y'all didn't take any wear and tear from me shearing you there? That's fine. You actually only have 7 months left. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I don't think we're waiting on anything except for maybe leather at this point. Which is going to take, you know, some invariable amount of time. And then from the leather, we wanted to get um, a saddle and some bellows. Now the bellows. Use the bellows, simply place it facing the targeted heating device and use it. Bellows will pump air into the device, raising the maximum temperature for a short time. I wonder how it allows it to provide air to a fire pit or a charcoal forge, for example. Hmm, interesting. So it just raises the temperature, but I don't know why would we need to raise the temperature? Maybe we have to get it, like, so hot for iron or something in the future? That's fine. Um, so now that we have the bellows, or almost the bellows, what is our next objective? I guess we could go try to find some more sheep, or just go to try to shear... Oh, no, no, right, because you can't shear it unless they're so familiar with you. That's really kind of a catch-22, ain't it? Not really a catch-22. I understand what a catch-22 is. I get it. I, honestly, going and trying to find more animals sounds like a little bit of a nightmare. I'm just being honest. But perhaps that's what we need to do, because we are going to need, like, more wool in the future as well, right? And I can't just I can't just live off the back of two. Are deer tameable? And I feel like not. I feel like they're probably not. Oh shucks! I gotta drop off all my copper. I said I was gonna see how much I got and all that. Yada yada. I knew I was forgetting something. Right, copper deposits. So let's looky here. 
16 of the rich, which gives us 560. That is five tools. And then 16 or 10 of the rich, 350, 400, 400, 50, 165. That's a lot, honestly. That's that's enough to where I probably shouldn't have to worry about it for quite some time here. Quite some time. All right, give me one sec. Okay. So we have our copper. We have our extra tools backed up. I think, I think we do want to go try to find perhaps some sheep. Maybe, maybe, perhaps. And I guess look for some waystones. I've not found any waystones. People, help me keep a lookout. If you see some, mention it. I know somebody's already mentioned it before. I didn't happen to find that one. I'm sorry. Still on the look for it, though. I don't even see any animals over here, which is odd because you'd think with the big open field like this, they'd be they'd be all over to claim it. I mean, look at all this food for them, all the wheat everywhere, all the grass. Speaking of which, I like how when you go to tame animals, you have to like really fancify their food. There's some wolves, definitely don't want to deal with them. Oh, a horse, right? Maybe we should look into how we go about getting horses because we're definitely going to want that. And since leather is almost done, it's actually something we could uh, viably get into. Animal husbandry, let's go all the way through here. There you go, llama, alpaca, mules, and horses. They eat grains and fruits. Okay, so I can actually use what I currently have here to lure in... A horse. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. We're not going to start that. Really old song, and I'm sure nobody wants to get it stuck in their head, right? Oh! Give it a look. Mmm, tastes just like raisin. Dun 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 now, do I get to see the stats of this horse before I invest into it? Yes, I do. Okay. Speed of 11. Size of 8. Jump height of 3. Speed 8. Jump 3. I mean, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to follow me, by all means. I'll start a glue factory back home. <laughs> you didn't hear me say that, okay? For those of you unfamiliar, um, they use horses to make glue. This is a speed of 10. Hello? I, 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 why would I ever go with the other guy's speed of 3? I thought 3 was decent. I walk over here and you're like, nah, bro. Let me show you what a real horse can do. <laughs> Alright, let's get on home. Come on. You you can You can probably chill with our oxes. I don't see why they would mind you being in the same stable with them. You're not going to freak out when you touch water, are you? Because that's that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Uh, speaking of touching water, are you going to follow me if I put this in my offhand and take a sip of water? Because I, I kind of need to do that. Come on. Oh, shucks. Don't do that. Don't follow me. Okay, whatever. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? You, you'll learn that that is the way here, Misty Horse. I'll fall in there. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. You still right behind me? I would assume with the speed of 10, you should always... Honestly, you should be ahead of me. You should already be home by now. That's okay. I guess I'll like, let it slide. But, but, hey! Hey! I got food. Thank you. Try to stay caught up, okay? I'm burning daylight here. Come on. It seems like you followed me better when this was in my main hand. So if I if I do this again, and I'm like, hey yo, hey yo, Charlie, get it, Charlie, Char Charlie horse. Anyways, 
we're so close. 200 meters? That's nothing. That's a, that's a hop, skip, and a jump. You're almost there. Don't stop. Um, get it, get it. Something, something. Uh, something, something. I don't know all the words to the song, obviously. Home. They say home is where you lay your head. Quite frankly. Oh, oh, there we go. Walking stick. Walking stick. Time to upgrade. Time to. Uh, I've led us to an impasse. <laughs> Let's go down. Sometimes you have to go down before you can go up. It may not make sense to you right now, but uh, at the same time, you're a horse, so you know there's probably not a whole lot that makes sense to you. Hey, buddy, come on. We're trying to get home in an orderly fashion, and you're like sightseeing. Not what we're here to do. You just want to fall? I bet you won't take damage. Maybe you did. I don't know. Is this home? 100 meters. Bet you never thought you'd go ice skating. Look at all the fun times and awesome adventures you... What? Hey! Hey! Come on, I'm trying to talk to you. And you're like... You're not even interested. You know what that guy does to a guy's self-confidence? Come on. Come on. Act like you know how to be a horse. If you're really good, maybe when we get home, I'll give you an apple. I don't have any apples, but, uh, you know. It's a decent bribe, for sure, for sure. Oh, come on. Come on. Can I get you to go inside my door? Probably not. You're probably too tall for that. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like I said, they probably don't mind if you if you chill in there with them, okay? I'm going to go take a snooze because you were... Honestly, you were a big pain in the neck to get home. Not nearly as much as the those, those ox, though. Boy, howdy, don't even get them started on that story. Okay. So. Now that we have the horse... Um, ba -da -bum -bum, horses spawn. Yeah, I don't care where they spawn. Kind of equine. Need a saddle to ride, can be napped, these includes. They become rideable after reaching 15% familiarity. 15, wow. Oh, we gotta eat, we gotta eat and drink. Mm. Go. All right, so then I, I'm going to need, like, the world's most massive farm ever if I'm going to continue feeding and breeding these, these hooligans. Right, I don't need to feed y'all anymore. So I only need to feed the horse. But I mean, hey, that makes things easier, right? Seven days, rotten, eight months... Give me this lettuce. We'll start munching our... Or cabbage, sorry. Cabbage, lettuce, you know, tomato, tomato. Honestly. What is one if not just the other? <laughs> what did we say? It was 15% and we can start riding that? So let's go see if our, our leather got finished up here. Hallelujah. It actually did. And for the bellows, we only need three pieces. Now for the saddle. Two, two, and two, and two. So one, two, one, two, two, one, two. Oh, yes. So then I just need two days to pass by, and we'll be able to ride this horse. And it will be magnificent. So I need two Minecraft days to pass by. What is that? Ten, ten minutes each? Twenty minutes, roughly? Okay. Three days left on some more compost. Uh, probably do need to actually chop these trees down. One of these days we're going to run out of wood. Of course, I guess when that happens we can also go back down here. Because this is where we found all the ash logs at. Not that we can use ash logs for everything, but... Still. Here we can try sand for diamonds. Can I use diamonds for anything? I'm pretty sure I already went through this back when we discovered that thing, but I'm 
fairly sure there's yeah there's no diamond tools in this in this pack so it's not like getting diamonds is going to do anything for us so we'll, we'll leave that alone for now i suppose um and then you guys aren't ready to be sheared correct correct okay maybe we just go find some animals to murder that could be fun because we've done I wanted to do the mining, I wanted to get a horse, and like, I wanted to do everything that we've already done today. I just didn't expect to actually get it all done today. <laughs> I expected it to take a lot longer. I suppose we could run some more leather through, but I'm not seeing what we would actually use it for outside of potentially, possibly, maybe some, uh, some armor. Do I really even care about leather armor? This only tells you the leather making. How do you actually see what all you can make with the leather, though? Aha, there we go. Yeah, leather boots. Uh, and it gives you some resistances to, like, slashing. Oh, flask. We might want to make that. Insulation. Okay. Um... Okay, and then with the flask, we can make an actual flask from string, bladder, and another flask side. I don't know how much water this can hold, but it might be might be something worth looking into, right? And uh, worth crafting. But yeah, maybe we go ahead and get some more leather working through here. So, first and foremost, we need some flux. Wait, does each one give us two? If so, we only need this one piece. That yeah, does. Okay. And then I'm gonna need my bucket. I've got a I've got a bucket full of ah falling on my crops. All right, bucket of water. That in. Changed immediately. Go we'll grab our large raw hide. That in, soak it. That in, and then we need birch, right? We can go ahead and get this converted over. Birch, a oh, birch. There you are. And that way we can have this working for the future. Okay. That is all good to go and grow now. Not been another day, right? No. Okay. I don't even know where... Oh, there it is. It's about halfway through the sky. Okay. So, ladies and gents, I think that's where we're going to call it here for this episode. It is a little bit of a shorter one, but it's also getting pretty late as far as uh, IRL chance goes. So, and the only thing that I'm kind of waiting on is for this horse to go through a couple days so we can put a saddle on it and start riding it around town. And, uh, you know, we need some more wool so we can get into this create machine because we're finally about to get into some actual modded Minecraft here instead of just, like, you know, vanilla stuff. The one thing I do want to see is this, the mechanical saw. Oh, nope, does require iron plates. So we're going to have to get into iron for pretty much everything, I think. Pretty much everything. What about the encased fan? Yep. Yep. Okay. Which I'm fairly sure we can turn this... ...into... what's it called? 
Oh, well. All right. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so very much for having joined me in this episode today. I do apologize for it having been a shorter one. But, hey, that's okay. You can't always have an hour episode. You know, sometimes you can have shorter to understand and appreciate the longer. Anyways, I do want to say if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more awesome content from yours truly. Of course, share this out with friends, family, family of the friends, and friends of the family. As per the usual, I hope you all stay safe. Stay awesome, and of course, stay crafting. Until next time, you beautiful, lovely souls, you. Peace out.